It is July 22nd, and it's been rather quiet in the Atlantic Basin for any hurricanes. There's been a couple of potential storms and smaller storms formed this month and even in June. However, July historically is a very quiet month for hurricane formation. Around 7% of the hurricanes in the overall season form in the month of July. Now, this is no indication of it being a quiet or busy or extremely busy season. Now, the National Hurricane Center has already stated that they expect it to be a busier than normal season overall for 2025 with more major hurricanes forming. However, July right now has been on the quiet side. Now, these hurricanes are forming generally around the five degree latitude line or parallel to the 20 degree latitude line or parallel and this goes across the Atlantic Ocean into the Caribbean Sea and into the Gulf. Now the most recent large major hurricanes that formed in July historically came in 2014 with Arthur, in 2008 with Bertha and two in 2005. Dennis it was formed in the Gulf with winds of 145 mile winds and Emily which is a category five with winds of 160 miles per hour. So it's been quite a while since we've had a major hurricane form in July. However, there are still a couple of days left in this month and the chances are looking slim based on the atmospheric conditions. However, you can never say no to a hurricane or tropical storm forming in very warm waters like the Gulf or the Caribbean, but in terms of the Cape Verde type hurricanes, it's looking kind of unlikely. However, we're still looking at the Caribbean and the Gulf as a starting point for any potential storms that may form in the rest of the days of July.